So guys, we are here again. Let's begin. Uh, this is our environment. Okay, you can see here our cluster with these two gateways that are inside it. And this is our management server. Okay, you can see here its IP address. And you can see here that it is our first and only one at this moment management server okay it's working fine this is our roles list nothing special just uh, three rules for our example okay let's change to the new machine this is our new machine let's log in and let's start config okay the process here is very simple I'll just press N here let's set our host name again pressing N to continue I won't be uh, concerned with other details now okay so the point here is just to show you how to set up the the secondary configuration settings so let's do it and this is a new installation okay press N this is our security management that's right here a uh, little change because we're not installing a primary one in fact we are installing a secondary one so let's press 2 to change and let's press N again okay okay guys uh, just to remember uh, I've already installed the security platform before okay and uh, it's a very simple process installing this the operational system but if you have some doubt or uh, any questions about the process please send me that on comments okay uh, okay now the installation is done uh, we are just finishing the process and entering the activation key Okay. Okay, we are done. Okay, guys, let's come back here. We are going to checkpoint and host option reset our new secondary management server okay let's type the name let's type the IP address let's tell to checkpoint that it's our secondary server okay and let's set up the activation key okay Trust is good. That's it. Here we have our topology information. Let's type it.
okay we are done okay now let's just install the policy to validate our changes and our modifications as I told you before guys this is just a simple rules base just three rules okay just what we need to do our example okay uh, I'm gonna do this process a little bit faster okay and continues when it's done okay the installation is completed let's close this window and let's come here and polish management high availability and here we can see our just created management server number two our secondary one you can see here that it is in standby mode and here our first one in active mode the status never sync it that's correct because we just finished it, its installation so let's do a test here let's tell the machine to synchronize oh that's great look for this error message synchronization is not allowed server time mismatch so let's do a comparison here to troubleshooting this problem look for the time Let's see our server number two to see if we can find the, the error. That's it. Our server number two is with the wrong time comparing with server number one, as you can see here. So just to correct the problem let's fix it okay let's come back to our console so let's refresh here We don't see any more any error message here. Uh, let's go to synchronize now. Okay, it's done. We can hear. Uh, that status field has changed to synchronize it that's okay that's good okay now let's see here in policy this option here about management availability that tell us uh, about the synchronization frequency so it's set up to automatically that's great uh, every time a policy is installed you can synchronize the, the servers or you can choose here some schedule event if you have a big base or a big rules base or information to synchronize maybe uh, it's a better option to do it in a scheduled time or or date or, or hour we're good let's do a uh, last test okay we are going to 
login in this secondary management server so let's come back here so let's change here to our oops to our secondary one And now we are logging. Okay, let me approve the fingerprint because it's our first login on this management server. And you're gonna see a pop up window that's here telling us that our server now it's in, in a standby mode and this is our first one still active synchronized status and let's change to active mode so we can log in in our secondary server and apply the rules the change and everything else Okay, now we are logged in in our secondary server. We can come here and see that our mode has changed to active. Here, our first management server has changed to standby. That's correct. So, we are done here. Our solution is implemented. And I think that now you can see how important it is to have this kind of feature in your environment and how important it is to provide this kind of security and fast recovery system in your management servers so I'd like to thank you for watching this video and if you have some questions please provide them on the comments